Listen here, kiddo. You finally played the new Vegas DLC? Great, what did you think? I forgot something. My dear friend Nerevar, what did I forget? The Gunrunner Arsenal and the Weapons DLCs, he... I suppose they do dramatically change the game when you can hip-fire explosive sniper at everything, but still, not much I can say besides. Yay, more shoots go bang-bang. I forgot something else, pray do tell. Randall Clark, ah uh, yes. Truly a man after my own heart. After his story ripped it up, then hastily glued it together only to burn it to ashes. Let's talk about him. Randall Clark is what happens when a good-hearted man experiences the cruel whiplash of life. Randall Clark survived the bombs while on the surface and did escape to Zion Valley. Albeit blind, but he lost his wife and children. He carried the burden of their deaths, constantly blaming himself all the while still dishing out death to those trash-ass vault dwellers. What vault dwellers? Clearly you didn't explore enough. The dwellers of vault? 22. I fucking hate them, Nerevar, and if you ever wear their vault suit, I'll slaughter you like a Brahmin. They invaded the valley due to their own hubris ruining their home. They sought a safe place, but only brought death and disaster with them. They spread the damn seed for those stupid acid reflux plants, and Randall Clark was their boogeyman. He was doing fine before they arrived, slowly, but surely coming to peace with the loss of his family, albeit never letting go of the guilt or the night terrors their deaths brought. He tried, just like any person can. He tried, then a new group arrived. Spanish-speaking, but that didn't change his guarded heart from developing a relationship with them. Although he was just an invisible guardian angel to them, they were his new family. That was until those dirty, mongrel-licking, toe-jam-eating, squalor-living vault-dwellers arrived. They fucking killed and caged the new Hispanic settlers. I'll leave out what they did to those poor women and children, but it's along the lines of brutal murder and cannibalism. It's fucking sick. But our boy Randall, oh ho, he had hate in his soul and blood in his veins. He booby, ha <laughs> ha, booby. He booby-trapped the bodies and their supplies, killing at least 22 of them before he took a bullet to the thigh. But that bullet didn't mean shit. He killed another 58 before they fled. But in their fleeing, something happened. A woman, Nerevar. She stepped in one of Randall's bear traps, and normally our brave Randall would just shoot the dweller and be done, but she reminded him of a love once lost. He rescued her from their evil clutches and nurtured her wound. They would go one to become pregnant, but she tragically died giving birth. It was a complicated birth, and Randall did all he could to save them. He had gathered medical supplies and experience beforehand, but it didn't matter. He went on to try and commit suicide, but thankfully couldn't convince himself. Later on, a new group of people moved in. The same people in the DLC, yes, Nerevar. He watched over them, giving them storybooks, food, medicine. All from the shadows, but still wanting to help. That's our Randall. Unfortunately, his number was up. And he had to answer for his life. He developed lung cancer. And in a last gift gave all he had to them, leaving them with a note saying he will always be the silent protector. Then he traveled far. He didn't want anyone to find his body. He found himself at the end of his journey and before the end of his life walk. He recorded one last message and forbade the Red Valley his final goodbye. Thus was the life of Randall Clark, a man who against all odds, through all his pain, found a way to help others and hopefully by the end forgive himself. Sometimes we all just need to do that, Nerevar. Forgive ourselves, for we know not how we hurt, only why.